is up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks so much for being here for being subscribed and if you're not go ahead and hit that button if you're listening on youtube hit that like button it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation all right I'm going to put a link in the description box to this video because I actually just saw this video and it's from a year ago from a YouTube channel called RRG. And the video is titled, There Are So Many Red Flags in Beyonce and Jay-Z's Relationship. Now, I know a lot of people have heard rumors and stuff over the years about these two. But recently, I think it may have been about a week now, Jason Lee... He went viral because he pretty much came out swinging, saying that he was disappointed that Beyonce hasn't really given black journalists, and primarily, I'm thinking about him, the opportunity to be a part of the Renaissance experience. Uh, He spent over $40,000 investing in her experience gifting people, I guess, maybe tickets and stuff like that, I don't know, to enjoy the concerts on her tour. And he said how he is disappointed. And, you know, he he pretty much, in my personal opinion, made it sound like he was going to maybe blackmail her if she doesn't straighten up and fly right. And if he doesn't get this Kelly Rowland interview that he's been working on. He's going to know that those (laughs) beehive or Jigga powers that be has had something to do with it because it's like, why, you know, why I, I, it was just crazy just listening to it and it's not like I was like oh my god he's not going to make it in in life and possibly maybe lose his life from coming out and low-key threatening to blackmail Beyonce in some way or whatever but I did feel like well who do you really think is going to want to work with you when you're coming out making statements like that and then if it works out for you and you get what you're looking for, then it's going to make it look like in some way that your threats worked and you have some stuff on them. So I, I was just like, wow. I, I mean, <laughs> we know him to be controversial in a lot of ways, but that just really surprised me. So I don't know if he had something to drink and that's why he did it or not, I I really don't know. But when I saw this video in my feed and I was watching it and I was listening to it, it made me think about what he said. He, He knows, like he knows a lot of stuff and he was threatened to put it out if he didn't get what he was asking for. So I want to play this clip from this video because it made me just think about that a little bit more and wonder like could it have something to do with this beyonce and jay tied the knot on april 4th 2008 in an intimate ceremony in jay's tribeca penthouse two years later jay was in the middle of a cheating scandal hollywood street king blog better known as hsk reported that jay had been seeing a woman since before he and beyonce got married The woman was identified as a publicist named Kathy White. In online photos, she appeared to be well-connected to several people in the industry, including TV personality Claudia Jordan. After doing some digging, HSK uncovered a photo from 2009 of Jay sitting at a table at a nightclub in Las Vegas with a few people, including Diddy. And guess who was also sitting at the table? Kathy. Oddly enough, the image has been scrubbed from the internet. Yes, it literally poofed into thin air. An insider told HSK that Jay bought Kathy a pair of $2,500 Louis Vuitton shoes to wear for their night out in Vegas. And he also told her to bring a bunch of friends so people wouldn't suspect that they were a couple. 
Now, here's where things get messy. HSK claimed that sources were made aware of Kathy and Jay's affair through Kathy's friend, Jason Lee. Could this be the same Jason Lee who runs Hollywood Unlocked? Mm, we're unsure. But one thing we do know is that back during those days when HSK was the most poppin' blog on the internet, the website owner had to dodge lawsuits all the time. And if the report about Jay and Kathy was false, surely Jay's people would have reached out to HSK to get the blog post removed, right? Well, they didn't. And 10 plus years later, all of the posts about Jay and Kathy's alleged relationship are still posted on HSK's website. And we've provided links to the juicy tea in our description box. So anyway, after running the story and the internet going wild over the allegations, Kathy deleted her social media accounts. From there, the story went quiet. For a bit. As Jay became more involved in Beyonce's career, an insider told Celebuzz that Beyonce's dad was pushed to the side. The insider added, there's no bigger controller than Jay. Beyonce is great, but she'd be a little lower on the totem pole if it weren't for hooking up with Jay. The insider said Beyonce went from being under the control of her dad to being under the control of her husband. And as much as she wanted to make her own decisions, there was always a man around pulling her strings. Beyonce severed ties with her dad and fired him as her manager in 2011 amid accusations of theft. She now has her own management company called Parkwood Entertainment. That same year, she announced her first pregnancy at the 2011 MTV VMA Awards. Four days later, 29-year-old Kathy, the woman who was rumored to be Jay's mistress, passed away from an alleged brain aneurysm. Blue Ivy was born in 2012, and two years later, there was more trouble in paradise. After Solange and Jay's elevator fight, many people suspected the altercation was due to Jay possibly cheating on Beyonce. A Houston radio station asked Matthew to chime in on the rumors. In his response, Matthew pretty much said it was a PR stunt, or in his terms, it was all a Jedi mind trick. The Carters kicked off their On The Run tour in the summer of 2014, and Beyonce changed several of her song lyrics to fuel the rumors that Jay was stepping out on her. And then came a blind item report that their marriage was nothing more than a business arrangement that was hanging on by a thread. Now, if this is true, it sounds eerily similar to what people said about Tina and Matthew's relationship. Don't you agree? An insider told the New York Post, they made the classic mistake of thinking a child would change everything and help to rekindle the initial fire, and it didn't. Another insider told Page Six that Beyonce and Jay knew they were the king and queen of hip-hop and they weren't ready to lose their titles. The insider speculated that they would stay married but live separate lives. The source added, they are business people first, entertainers second. Husband and wife comes somewhere down the line. After wrapping up their tour, Us Weekly reported Beyonce was making moves to end their marriage. The publication also reported she had been looking at apartments in Manhattan without Jay by her side. When Beyonce dropped her 2016 album Lemonade, she alluded to Jay cheating, as well as the hurt and anger she felt and the mysterious Becky with the good hair. In her song Daddy Lessons, she seemingly compares her parents' failed marriage to her own. She sings, you remind me of my father, a magician, able to exist in two places at once. In the tradition of men in my blood, you come home at 3 a.m. and lie to me. What are you hiding? Jay dropped his 444 album in June 2017, where he also opens up about the troubles in their marriage. It wasn't until a November 2017 interview with the New York Times that he finally fessed up and admitted he was a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Some people were turned off by the belief that the Carters were monetizing their marital issues, while others were all ears for the tea. In an a for Vogue magazine, Beyonce said she had been through it all in terms of betrayals and heartbreaks. She wrote, I have had disappointments in business partnerships as well as personal ones, and they all left me feeling neglected, lost, and vulnerable. In another essay, she wrote how coming from a lineage of broken male-female relationships, abuse of power and mistrust affected her. 
Many people hoped Beyonce would break free from the generational curse that appeared to be wreaking havoc in her life. But instead, she and Jay welcomed twins in 2017. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. But if you heard in this video, they mentioned Jason Lee and this woman, Kathy White, who was allegedly Jay-Z's mistress. And I don't even want to know if I would call her a mistress because... They said that he was in a relationship with her before he married Beyonce, allegedly. And this woman lost her life due to supposedly a brain aneurysm. And so in present day, hearing Jay-Z say he has so much stuff that he knows that he's going to put out there if he doesn't pretty much get what he wants i'm like what does he know and then when i listened to this video which i said is from a year ago it just made me start thinking i don't know what he knows i don't know if he would have the balls to come out and put that information out there that he allegedly has on beyonce there's a lot of different thoughts that are swirling around with regards to what it could be but I just wanted to play this and get your thoughts on it because I just find it kind of crazy because actually I remember years ago, and actually it was in 2011 maybe or before that, when I started seeing things in the blog about Jay-Z and this woman, and then I saw something about this woman losing her life. And it's it's just crazy, the woman named Kathy White. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think Jason Lee knows, if he knows anything? Do you believe that he would be brave enough to put anything out there that would just, like he said, rock the internet if he put this information out that he has? And he, I believe he said he has receipts. Do you think he would have the balls and the audacity to do it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Oh, no. Oh.